David Taub with GVY are here to preview this Thursday's Fresno City Council meeting. Starts 8.30 at the City Hall Chambers. And the main event once again is going to be marijuana. This time the City Council will vote on a proposal to ban outright any commercial selling and growing of marijuana. They'd also vote to ban marijuana use in public, whether it's smoking or edibles or any other means. Uh, I'm not sure what those other means would be, but they do exist. Now, if the debate on Twitter between Gary Bredfeld, who's in favor of the ban, and Clint Olivier, who's opposed it, is any indication, the live debate on the dais will be pretty interesting. Uh, the already on Twitter, they've been going lots of back and forth. Olivier accusing Gary Bredefeld using the hashtag make Gary happy. Bredefeld responds with a crying baby gif. So a lot of snark, a lot of sniping on Twitter. Now if the debate happens, that's a big if, because last week Olivier used a procedural move to take a, another aspect of the marijuana debate, this time uh, the proposal to limit personal growth use. Uh, you can only grow six plants as the limit by state law and Olivia used that procedural mover to take the debate off the agenda. Bredefeld didn't have enough votes to put it back on the agenda. So that issue is still unresolved. Another interesting aspect to see where Councilman Paul Capriolio of District 4, where he stands. Back when they made the first vote on the limitation of six plants per person, he voted in favor of that limitation. However, last week when Olivier made his move, Capriolio voted to keep it off the agenda. So it'll be interesting to see where he stands this time around. Also, Clint Olivier wants to spend $100,000 of taxpayer money on hiring a marijuana consultant. Bredefeld on Twitter says no way. So it will be interesting to see where this all goes. Now something else we're following on a City Hall's agenda is a presentation from the Public Utilities Department about the future of water. Specifically, they'll be receiving a presentation on if the city should invest in two major water projects that are under the proposal stages, the Temperance Flat Dam and the Twin Tunnels Project. The idea would be gain access to water for the future growth of Fresno. Hey, do you have an old check from the city of Fresno you may have not taken to the bank yet, circa 2013? Maybe it's under a pile on your desk, maybe it's in the back of your drawer, maybe it's in your wallet. Well, anyways, a three-year limitation or waiting period has elapsed. The city will be voting to take $11,000 in unclaimed checks from 2013 and deposit it back into city coffers. Now, we took a, list, a look at the list of uh, who's owed that money. Now, St. Agnes Medical Center is owed about $1,100. Pizza Patron, they're owed about $500. I contacted Pizza Patron at their headquarters in San Antonio. They told me, uh, you know, we're under new ownership. We've closed out those accounts. So, City of Fresno, we hope that you enjoyed the pizza back in 2013, but you can keep the money. The television show El Chavo del Ocho it was a big hit in Mexico and uh, throughout Latin America in the 70s. It is still going on today as an animated version. Well, on Thursday, the city will proclaim that day in honor of El Chavo del Ocho. Now, it's in connection with a campaign to get kids to drink milk, uh, tied into the animated version of the show. Also, I hear there'll be a big donation to the uh, Boys and Girls Club, so that's always a good thing. Hey, you can follow us live as the city council action happens on Twitter. I'm at TaubGVWire, or you can always follow just at GVWire. And you can always get a recap on gvwire.com.